Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we have patch notes for the update that was uh, rescheduled for tomorrow, July 28. So as you can see here, this is coming from the Facebook or the official Facebook page of Snowbreak Containment Zone, and it will be moved to July 28th. Uh, UTC plus 8. So the time is going to be at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So it's a long update, July 28th, UTC plus 8. So compensation for the maintenance here is going to be Digicash 180, Baldor Inhibitor Medium plus 1. So issuing time, this is definitely going to happen after the maintenance. So there is a new event, guys, dropping for... Um, snow breaks so a new gigalic event brave the game will be added this event requires the the, the close cooperation of three adjutants to defeat three powerful boss level enemies one by one a large amount of digicash and silver buck will be obtained by completing this limited time event so this is again a limited time event there uh, it's going to be up to august 7 for this event so no new banner mentioned for this update most of it will be optimizations which i guess you are wondering what are freesha hushes um updates or <laughs> buffs we'll go to that in a while we'll start off with optimizations optimize the skill strength of some operatives so for akasha base damage of standard skill is increased these are all increase in stats i haven't seen so this one is for life for haru it's also increased for cherno the damage dealt is also increased enya is also an increase in the base damage and um, also the ultimate skill increased by 12. Uh, for Akasha Kaguya, base damage of the Dart Throne. Dart is actually powerful. Now they're increasing the damage uh, by 27. For Frisha Hush, this is one of the updates or upgrades that she's receiving. The base damage of the standard skill, strongest chain, is increased by 60, which is actually a nice add-on as well. For Marian Swift, uh, the base damage of the standard skill is also added by uh, increased by 80. For Fenny Coronet, the base damage of the standard skill is also increased by 200. So those are the damage increases distributed. So far, there aren't any damage decreases. Some of the operatives and weapon skills have been adjusted for free Shahash. The range of the standard skill strongest chain is increased to 10 meters, which is fantastic. This is one of the buffs that I wanted to have in her kit because sometimes it falls short and gain a shield equal to 20% of her maximum HP during the ultimate skill. This is what everybody has been waiting for and it is now going to be official tomorrow. Optimize the movement during the ultimate skill. Aside from the shield, she will be moving during the optimal, oh, oh sorry, not the optimal skill, ultimate skill. So we'll have to check it out tomorrow whether it's going to be significant. Definitely the shield will be a big help. Um, go, moving on, for Marin Swift added an effect, increased magazine capacity by one. So the sniper um, she has, a rifle, will be increased Her on her th theomor theothropic nerves, winter stock. Devious alignment and this will not increase um, with the increase of Devious alignment. For Fenny, Coronet standard skill optimal condition and ultimate skill center steel will cost will cause a stiff effect on enemies. I'm not sure what the stiff effect is. The stiff effect probably is they won't move. So that is it for sniper rifle horn of orca. The weapon skill will be changed to increase. Crit damage amplifier, increased standard ballistic damage, and load one bullet when stand standard ballistic hits the target. Uh, operatives operation optimizations, optimized Fenny, coronet standard skill operation to prevent accidental cancellations, stage and gameplay optimizations. Clearing Gigalic for the first two times each day will grant double neural connections, which is nice. 
Um, after the first completion operations, excluding combat training, the auto clear function might be renamed. Will be unlocked. So they haven't finalized the auto clear function yet, allowing to consume presence to quickly obtain corresponding materials. This is actually a nice upgrade. They haven't finalized the name yet, so it's a auto clear or a clear ticket, whatever. Increase the chance of randomly dropping uh, fiber axon from the abyss difficulty realm of wind of eternal winter this is also nice because we need a lot of fiber axon and other optimizations that we have here so reduce mission condition uh, conditions weekly other mobile devices we optimize the default ui layout on mobile devices Based on adjutants' habits to load new UI layout, adjutants need to perform a reset on the custom UI interface at once. So this needs to be tinkered with in the settings, I presume. Optimize the, con the description in certain system tests to prevent scam. Friend system, we have temporarily disabled the display of signatures on the friend function. Once the problem is solved, the display will be restored as usual. Added hints for daily and weekly missions for Vanguard Pass. The mission page will be hidden from experience of Vanguard Pass reaches the limit. So those are all of the things that are going to improve plus fixes up to 1 to 13. So I won't go through the fixes, guys. These are a lot of updates just for this. I think probably a major update for them because they've been making a lot of updates recently. But there you go. So... Um, Frisha Hush gets an, a, a much needed buff to her ultimate and her standard skill. So thank you very much guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.